Okay, hey, how's it going? Welcome back to Jason's General. We're gonna do attempt two of the qualifier plan here. Got smoked, uh, had a white blue deck, but things just didn't really work out for us. First game we uh, kept a hand with a with just a four drop and then didn't see any creatures. And then game two, we again got uh, aggroed out by Battle of Tear. So sort of how it is. Anyway, if you like what you watch today, please comment, like, subscribe, and hit, hit and or hit the notification button. Be much appreciated. And let's get into it. I know this is a good rare. Maybe we go for the white. Maybe we go for the white, uh, white red thing. We've got some terrible rares here. Absolutely terrible. So I guess we're just going to rely on our commons and uncommons. Uh, let's take all the cards that are playable. A couple of those isn't so bad. Possibly playable. I don't know about that one. Good removal. Life gain. Ooh, four hippos. It's not bad. I don't think this is particularly playable, but maybe if we have enough, like, blink effects. Mmm. Blue's looking really weak this time around. Let's just take that out now. Black. Not sure if this card's playable in this format. We got some decent bodies for, like, an aggressive... Uh, Orzov deck could be a potential thing. I don't know, this could be a top end finisher. Three Dragonfire, okay. We got some good red black stuff, potentially. A good top end card. When this sent is a battlefield, put a rope counter on target creatures you control at the beginning of each player's upkeep. That player may pay two if they do put a rope counter on a creature they control. Decent board wipe, I suppose. So we have... We have some good white-red stuff. I think, I think red-white's the direction we're probably going to go. Some good black, too. And I think red black is another direction we could go possibly. But I think our white red is just powerful enough that that's where we want to be. I also feel like aggro is the way to go in this format. <clears throat> Especially when there's so much on the line when it comes to the, the gold here. Prism, I just feel like it's like okay fixing. It's not fantastic. I'm, I'm probably just going to cut that. And then let's see. Definitely got to make some cuts. So you can activate this once.
When this enters the battlefield, another target non-token creature control gains double team in the end of the turn. When it attacks, conjure a duplicate of another target non-token creature into your hand. That's a really good rare. I don't think life gains really what we're going for. Bunch of indestructible spells could be good. Uh, I don't know about these these guys. This is pretty high up on the uh, the list of uh, good cards in the set. Same as this. I know this is this seems decent. Maybe we don't need two of them, but. Yeah, um, what do we got for creatures now? Anyway, 18. Definitely gotta make a couple cuts. I think I'll keep the... Pilgrim's Eye, maybe. Just for fixing. Got one of these. I kinda like the idea of... I think this could be a good top end finisher though. This has double team as well. I mean, we could just cut this and this and just try to be like a double team style deck. Just overwhelm opponents with creatures that are coming in for two or getting double the value. Don't know if we need the Paladin. Maybe we cut the Paladin in favor of the other Paladin? Portable Hole. Removal. <laughs> Three dragons fires, that's awesome. Orb. This just feels slow, so I'm gonna cut that. Some good tricks. <laughs> so we have a lot of double team synergy for sure. I think we cut one creature and one spell. Could be the orb. Our mana cost isn't too high. I mean these effectively will cost less. Unless of course like the board gets wiped or something. This seems average at best, but I guess it's fine to keep. Maybe the lifelinker makes more sense. Maybe cut one of these parties. Or these, yeah, these null hunting parties. They're pretty good. I like I like how they play with the uh, Lyara. I guess I can see Paladin getting cut in favor of these. We have a fair amount of removal, so I guess this could go as well. The card draw is nice though. Alright, well, deck looks pretty good. I think our average mana cost will be pretty low. Alright, let's get our nice lands here. We have 
not a lot of double pip mana kind of even split between the two 13 or 11 so i think eight and nine is probably fine I actually think I want to go 9 white. Or go 8 and 8 and bring this in. I feel like this could play pretty well. Maybe not. Maybe not. This could be decent too. Alright, let's put this in and then go 8 and 8. So, eight planes. Eight. Mountains. And yeah, we're bringing in this mace. All right, let's get into it. All right, not bad. Keep it. Sure. All right, let's just go with our Pilgrim's Eye for now. We'll get ourselves a f uh, mountain. And then we can... It's pretty good. All right, let's go Flame Dust Guard. And we'll block like this as long as they don't, like, hit us with the removal spell. Fair enough. Wish we had mana open for a removal here. <laughs> hmm. So block. Oh, this has trample too. <sighs> Unfortunate.
GG's. I think our, our, our misstep there was... Swinging in uh, one of the turns when they had, a, they had a removal spell to get rid of the creature. I think if we didn't do that, things would have turned out a little bit differently. But that bear, that owl bear is really good. That's a tough beater to get around. Okay, another good hand. It's too bad we didn't have something to play with this alder, though. But if we have to play it out, then we have to play it out, you know? Okay. Oh, we should have played our planes. <sighs> nice, perfect. Okay, so let's play this. So we don't want to attack because we want to be able to swing in so we can play our Null Hunting Party here. What does this do? Oh, create two boars? Sure. Swing in. No way. Sure. some BS. I had a feeling they might have that, but you know, you gotta play it. You gotta play. All right. This is sort of a turn deciding or a game deciding 
moment here. So we're gonna go... Hit this. I get some two twos. Lock like that. We can't even swing. Six mana. We get a land and a land unicorn, sure. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We're just holding on here. Okay. All right, we need removal. A 
That's good. That's good. Not bad. Hopefully they swing all here. Sure. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. We swing one, two, three, four, five. These cost one. Four, eight, twelve, Four, eight, twelve. We double strike, that's sixteen, eighteen. So if they don't block anything else, we win. Four, eight, twelve. Give double strike. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three. Well, we tried, but didn't really work out in our favor. We had to go for something. Thank you. 
<sighs> just one off. I don't know if we counted. Maybe we could have counted better or done something differently. I think we, yeah, we needed to double. We needed to make a copy of the war caller. All right. Well, GG's. <coughs> GG. Oh no, even with that, we wouldn't have. We wouldn't have made it. <laughs> ah, zero two, zero two. Well, such is magic, I suppose. I felt like our decks were good. I felt like we handled that game rel our games relatively right. But as I said, such is magic. And such is this funky alchemy set. This is definitely the worst we've done in a qualifier. We we really haven't practiced or anything either, so I mean, this is what it is. Anyway, if you liked what you watched, please comment, like, and subscribe. Hit the notification button. Stay tuned for the next one. Cheers.